Now let's learn about text views so that we'll be able to use them in our assignment. I'm going to go into my storyboard and I'm going to search for a text view in my object library. I'm going to go ahead and drag a text view in. And let's make this a little bit smaller so I have space to add another view object in just a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this default text here and we can even write something like default text in here. And I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to my header file here. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key and press on CC View Controller at H. And holding down the Control key, I'll hook this up as an IB outlet. So our connection type is going to be outlet, and our name can be text view. Type is going to be UI text view, and the storage type will be strong. We can go ahead and press Connect. And I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to conform to the UI text view protocol. So what this will allow me to do is now I'll be able to access the UI text view delegate methods. So let's go back to single view here. And the first thing we're going to do is let's access the information inside of my text view. So we can go ahead and we added some default text. We can simply nslog my text view. So self.textview.text. And let's remove our previous nslog statement so that uh, we don't have too many things printing to our console. So I'm going to go ahead and just comment that out. And let's go ahead and run our application. And we'll be able to see the information we added to our text view print out to our console. So default text prints out. And incidentally, while we're looking at our simulator, let's switch this to iPhone Retina 4 inch screen. So default text prints out. That's great. So right now in my text view, when I click in here, we see a keyboard comes up. And it's kind of hard to see. And also when I press the return key, um, all it does is add a new line. I'm not able to make this keyboard go away. So let's change that functionality. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go over to my storyboard and let's add a little bit of a background color to my text view so I can see what I'm doing. So let's add a background here. We can make it like nice light, light gray color. And let's go ahead and implement a method from my UI text view delegate inside of the ccviewcontroller.m file. And one thing I want to show you is a quick way we can add delegate methods and methods in general. So if we know the name of or approximately the name of the delegate method we want to implement. And a great way to start is with the name of our view object. We can simply write subtraction sign and the name we think it's going to be. So I think this is going to be a text view delegate method. So I'm going to start typing text view. And we see that all these delegate methods for my text view populate. So I'm going to select the method should change text and range. Now this isn't always going to work. For example, number of rows in table view or number of, excuse me, number of sections in table view is not going to populate by typing in table view in. But cell for row index path is table view cell for row index path, so that will work. In short, using the subtraction sign and the name of the method or starting to type in the name of the method is a super handy way to get an auto completion for the methods that we gain from accessing a protocol. So let's go ahead and let's implement some logic for this method. And we're going to say if text is equal to string, and we're going to be able to say at quote that a forward slash n. And we're going to go ahead and add some curly braces here. We're going to tell our text view. So we're going to say self.text view resign first responder. And then we're going to return no because we don't want any replacement to occur. And if we're not doing this, let's just return yes, because we want to continue adding text to our text view. So let's go ahead and run our application. And now when we start typing our text, when we press the return key, nothing happens, right? We're still able to add additional rows to our text view. Well, what did we forget to do? We forgot to set the delegate property on our text view. So we can say self.textView.delegate is equal to self. Now let's go ahead and run our application again. And we can go ahead and start typing. And now when we press the return key, we see that the keyboard goes away. Well, let me just warn you that this is not the perfect way to solve this problem. The trouble is we're not really detecting if the user has tapped the return key Instead, we're overriding the functionality for the return key. Instead of adding additional rows, we're simply telling the keyboard to go away. So this is what we call a little bit of a hacky solution. 
However, there's no reason for us to add multiple rows as of yet. So we're going to override the functionality to add multiple rows. And instead, we're simply going to have our keyboard go away for the text view.